Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Karina. Today I thought it would be really fun to show you guys my everyday makeup routine that I do when I do not want to use foundation. So this would just pretty much consist of a makeup look that pretty much takes me about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is something that I would lean more towards if I'm looking for a more casual but like still put together and like really cute look. Just getting straight into it, the first thing that I do obviously is moisturize. I did that off camera and like wash your face whatever in the morning or whatever time of day that you're doing this. And I'm gonna go straight in with the Tarte Shape Tape. What's really cool about this makeup look is that there's no foundation like I said before. So it's really awesome because it's something that you can do like more regularly without clogging your entire pores. So I'll be a little bit more generous with this because then this way i could kind of like you know spread it out a little bit more around my face more than i normally would and then this concealer is like it is lighter than my skin but it's not super lighter like it, it's not as much of a highlighting concealer i kind of balance between like very highlighted concealer and like my skin color concealer because i like to have that balance like that i can use it for concealer but that i can also use it to like cover a pimple like for example this when i have no makeup on and it won't look like super white um i actually hit my head on a cabinet so that's that that's that bump and it got a little scratch as well so as you can see i'll just kind of go around you know like put a little on my nose and my forehead and i'll just like see any blemish that i have but so far so good so this is pretty much what i have i'm gonna go in with a beauty blender it's already wet and i'm just gonna start off by blending it on my eye like as close to my eye as possible first as you can see this is where you're gonna get the most coverage and then i will start kind of dragging it out that way i will still get coverage on the rest of my face and kind of blend that out as well because i don't want that to be like a line obviously you can see like my skin is not this white i'll just blend around same thing for the other eye i'll literally just try to concentrate as much as i can as close to my eye as possible until it's completely blended out all this excess here down here under my actual media eye i'll blend it out and then here you can see that i have like a really full coverage kind of look with just like a little concealer and then for my forehead so as you can see my forehead is like a lot darker than the rest of my skin and at first this might scare you on like how white i look at first but i think that it works at the end of the day so don't worry if you if you end up trying this look and you feel like you look way too white then i would just suggest getting a little bit of a darker concealer but for me personally i actually really like how this color works on me and how it looks so i forgot to put a little bit on my eyelid literally a tiny dot like a tiny dot is enough trust me just because i like it to have like a good base for my conceit for my um eyeshadow as you can see like look at the difference that little dot does like it literally makes a humongous difference and i find that in the actual like amount of time that the eyeshadow that i use lasts me so i want it to last me like obviously as long as i i can that using concealer before is like a game changer then i'm gonna go in with the hourglass setting powder that hourglass translucent powder i'm actually running out so i'm gonna have to scavenge but i'll like get a giant fluffy butt brush and just set that on both my eyes first beginners makeup tutorial finesse the system and look good somehow even though you have no experience I'm literally putting powder everywhere. I'm gonna go into my Kylie Cosmetics pressed powder palette. I don't know which what like I don't know which one this is called, but it looks like this, and the colors are like literally amazing. I'm gonna go into this color right here. It's called Penny, and I'm only gonna use one color on my eyelid. Sometimes I'll go in with Beach as well if I want it to be very very light. So I'm gonna go in with like the lightest hand with this. And just concentrate it on like the corner of my eyes but also kind of bring it towards the middle and i'm obviously doing this without a mirror so bear with me all right you guys so this is how it'll end up looking it's like very natural like you could obviously still tell that there's like something there and i'm gonna do the same exact thing on the other side all right you guys then i'm gonna dip into the exact same shade and i'm gonna really concentrate this at the bottom of my waterline because this makes a humongous difference i'm gonna bring it like almost all the way to the front and you're gonna see now like this makes like a literal huge difference in my eye look i forgot my no hair messing up clips i'm just gonna put them on anyways because i really want to so 
Moving on, we are going to be using the NYX Professional or NYX Professional Makeup Tinted Brow Mascara. My color is Espresso. I'm going to try to wipe off as much as I can because I, don't, I want it to be very natural. So now key factor in this makeup look is to get a little spoolie and brush your eyebrows up. Anything like up here that looks way too dark, I will literally just grab my finger and go like this. This may not be the most like effective method, but it's a method that works for me. I thought my eyebrows looked like a little too intense because I obviously just did that without a mirror, but here we go. Now we're on point. After that, I'm gonna be moving in onto blush and blush really pulls this like whiteness all together. So I'm gonna be taking the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 hour blush, the shade Captivating, which is like my go-to shade. And I'm really gonna go in with this. I'm gonna bring it like all the way forward. This is gonna be like the most color I add, so. I've talked about this mascara combo on my channel a lot because it's literally a game changer. The first thing I'm gonna do is get the Lancome Sills Booster XL Mascara Primer. I cannot put on mascara without a mirror. So, what you're gonna do with this mascara is you're pretty much going to put a thin layer on your eyelashes as so let it dry a little kind of like eyelash glue like you want it to like kind of get a little tacky i'll do like a light second coat like very very light i'll go in with my l'oreal telescopic carbon black i've been using this mascara since high school and no other mascara because i have very thick eyelashes my mascara like my eyelashes for them to hold like for a mascara to hold the curl this has been like the literal only one that i've ever found to hold the curl of my um, of my eyelashes and actually like intensify the length and just like pretty much enhance what's already there while like actually holding them up if you have thinner eyelashes you know that it's easier to curl them but my eyelashes are like really thick so it's hard to keep them up but as you can see look at this Look at the difference. Like, it's literally crazy. I love this mascara combo so much. I'll do a light second layer on this one as well, just to kind of, you know, finishing touches. Alrighty, guys. So, I was able to do my bottom mascara. I was making weird faces, could not focus while I was talking and doing my bottom mascara. But pretty much, we're almost done. Make it look a little better because I look, I'm really sweaty right now. But I want to get this Milani Make It Last setting spray, which is like legitimately the best setting spray for such an affordable cost. And I'm gonna be very careful. I normally put this on before I do my mascara because I don't like to like squint my eyes a lot. But I forgot, so I'm gonna do it now. And I'm gonna try to like leave my eyes closed and not mess it up. Thank God. Keep in mind, do that before you do your mascara because it literally makes your life so hard. You have to like literally be super careful not to like close your eyes really hard. And then the final step in my makeup routine will be i have two options so this is the maman lip sleeping mask but since it's like glossy and i like my lips to look like very natural with this look i'll tend to just like pretty much just put that but if i'm in the mood obviously with corona i'm usually not in the mood because you can't see your lips anyways and this is like very moisturizing so like i'd be down to put it on anyways but if i was in the mood i'm gonna show you guys this color pop just a tint little lip tint that i found at ulta that i actually smells so good it smells like pomegranate and it adds the like prettiest nude like very mild you can see like the difference right there so that'll be like a really cute little color that i can add but i'll do it i could do it like together or by itself i like either way but i tend to go more towards this one during corona because of the fact that i can't really show my lips anyways if i wanted to show let's say if i'm filming a video if i'm going somewhere like where i can actually show my lips then i'll wear that one Alrighty, guys that is the finished look as you can see like this looks still really cute and like i feel like it really brings me from looking really tired in the beginning of this video i was really tired i looked very like drained like out of energy i feel like now this really like brings it all together like really makes me look more alive it's very simple and i love the fact that like you don't really have to put foundation on underneath and it's super quick and simple and you can do it every single day in the morning if you have work school 
um even if you're just staying at home and you need a little motivational boost this would be like the greatest little makeup look that i personally love to do if you have any questions about any of the products i use i'm gonna try my best to link them down below but with that being said thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video